The IO.net token on Solana just launched and today it's up more than 50%. Let's have a look at some fundamentals. Let's have a look at on-chain analytics to find out how much longer this rally could potentially last. Because this is, I believe, the best approach to crypto investing in general. We want to look at data most people are not considering to get a market edge, right? If we want to pick the bottoms and the tops better than others, we need to have information most people aren't considering. So here's the chart today. We are currently at $5.95. We are up 46% today. Initially, the price dumped. Now it's recovering. Let's have a look at some data. There's a ton of trading volume on chain for the IO token. In the last 24 hours, we saw the leading liquidity pool exchanging 9.4 million dollars worth of io we have another liquidity pool with 3.7 million another one with 3 million there is activity here in terms of trading volume it's at place number 51 in the last 24 hours and that's on the solana chain which is mainly dominated by meme coin trading recently io.net is a breath of fresh air it's not a meme coin it's the exact opposite it's decentralized gpu computing thus it can be seen as a competitor to render or to akash or maybe to the recently launched Ethereum. I made a video specifically on Ethereum as well on this channel, just published recently. Feel free to check it out. It has quite a bit of momentum today as well. So let's have a look at the numbers. Let's find out whether or not IO.net's numbers are real or if there's manipulation. Let's compare the different social metrics first. So we've got the landing page and on that landing page, there is a video link to a YouTube video. And YouTube, of course, publishes the number of views. We've got 33,000 views in the last nine days. That can be compared to the number of followers on Twitter, which is more than half a million. Not sure if that's 100% legitimate, right? Maybe those Twitter followers are at least partially inflated. Let's have a look at the number of Telegram members. That's 113,000 roughly. On chain, we've got 85,000 holders. Now let's have a look at the largest liquidity pool on Jupiter. In the last 24 hours, we have seen roughly a thousand wallets, 400 bought, 500 sold with 85,000 holders. So it looks like not all of those holders bought the token, probably an allocation, probably an airdrop, a presale, etc. The main problem with crypto YouTube is conflict of interest. Too many YouTubers shill garbage, promote garbage and fill up their pockets in the background not this channel. Instead, there's simply the offer where I share my skills, my perspectives to you and where I also share direct access to me where you can ask me any questions. Feel free to check it out. The premium membership link is down below. Now, the most important thing to figure out where the price might go is to find out the supply versus demand dynamics. Let's have a look at the supply dynamics. What kind of token issuance is there over time for the IO token? Have a look at the documentation. We're starting out with 200 million tokens. This goes all the way up to a bit over 700 million tokens. The documentation text is a bit conflicting because here we are apparently starting with half a billion tokens and then increase to 800 million tokens over 20 years half of the tokens go to the community 12.5 to early backers that's during the seed round another 10.2 during series a another 11.3 to core contributors and 16 to the ecosystem looks like a dilution of one to two roughly here are those early backers we've got quite a few investors also yatsoi over here from hong kong the race was in march of this year 300 million in total vc money in a token is always a double-edged sword on the one hand we've got some kind of professionalism behind this right there's not going to be just a pump and dump but on the other hand we also have token dilution and at some point those early backers want to have their money back plus some and that of course is bad for the people buying into the token so the vestings are super super important demand has to grow faster than the token unlocks and it appears that those unlocks might be happening here at the 12 mark which probably means 12 months this axis isn't labeled so yeah the price is doing quite well here's the price chart but we're not just keeping it with that i like to look at the on-chain metrics and the data over here behind me that comes from a tool that i've developed myself you can plug in any solana token into this tool the tool is available to the premium members down below the bitcoinstrategy.com and we see that so far every day the number of first-time traders is exceeding the number of recurring traders so the investor base is growing and a growing investor base of course means potentially a growing price 
if there's nobody dumping, right? As long as there's more and more people jumping onto a project, the price should be rising. So this all looks healthy. This implies that the price can go beyond the $6. And we can also see that over time, the number of retail investors is growing, right? So this is not just whales jumping in. The share of trading volume generated by small retail is growing. It's currently at 45.7% of all of trading volume. Now here's the thing, the price, the inherent price of io.net is already pretty large because have a look at this this is render this is one of the largest cryptocurrencies in the gpu space this has a fully diluted market cap of 4.7 million the fully diluted market cap of io net is already larger than that and i'm not sure if fundamentally this is justified i believe that currently with the launch with all of that excitement the centralized exchanges are supporting the rally because check this out trading doesn't just happen on radium and on jupiter in a decentralized manner most of trading happens on Binance and on Bybit and on Gate.io. There's even leverage in this game via perpetual futures, so derivative contracts, bets on the price. So yes, people are jumping on this. Yes, the price development looks healthy, but there is some real risk with those prices, right? Should IO net really be larger than render? I'm not so sure. I will keep a very close eye on the on-chain metrics and I will continue to make updates on IO.net. If you want to see those updates, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. If you've got Telegram, then feel free to join us. The link is down below. Looking very much forward to chatting with you in Telegram. Cheers.